When you're self-employed, what exactly is the proper procedure for paying yourself? Like, why can't you just take the money you get paid by your clients and put that into your bank account, right? Like, do you need to make it more confusing? Because it already feels kind of confusing. It does feel kind of confusing. And that's why we're going to talk about it today. Let's do it right now. Welcome back to the Money Beard channel. My name is Rob Anderson. I'm the founder of Money Beard, and I'm here to teach you how you can make more money doing what you love. Today, we're talking about paying yourself. And as always, I am speaking from the point of view as a magician in the entertainment world. That's what I do. But as always, like I always say, I am just selling a service. I have a service-based business like many of you do out there. I'm a self-employed individual, and that's what I'm speaking to in this video. Other self-employed individuals, possibly like yourself, where you essentially are the business and you're set up as either an LLC or a sole proprietor. So there is a right and a wrong way to pay yourself. And I know it can seem a little bit confusing, so let's talk about the wrong way first. The wrong way would be to take the money you get paid by your clients and just to deposit that into your personal banking account. And the reason why that's wrong is that it mixes your business and your personal finances up. This makes it very hard to keep track of your business income and expenses, and overall, just makes it more difficult to keep track of what's going on with your business. One reason this can be confusing is because because if you're like me, when you first heard about the concept of paying yourself, you think about your paycheck at a regular job. Usually your paycheck at your job is for the same amount every week. But how are you supposed to do that if your business income is sporadic? Or if you're just getting started and you don't have any money in the business at all, how do you pay yourself anything? Where does the money for your paycheck even come from? I know it can feel confusing because I've had these questions too, so let me break this down and keep it as easy as possible to understand. First, if your business is not generating revenue yet or you have no cash in the business from a loan or another source, you can't pay yourself anything at all. So don't worry about paying yourself yet if you're not generating revenue and there's no cash. This is one reason why you hear about so many business owners going months or even years without taking a paycheck. But in order to start paying yourself, here's what I recommend doing first. Set up two bank accounts, one for you and one for your business. In that business account, you'll deposit any money that your clients pay to you along with any other revenue that the business generates. From this account, you will be paying for any business-related expenses that your business incurs. What you won't be doing from this account is paying for any of your personal bills, depositing any money from your day job, or in general treating this as your personal account. This is your business account. What I recommend most people do at this point is smash the like button. What I recommend for most people to do at this point who are watching this video, uh, assuming that you're either early on in your business or your profits are under $100,000 is this. Look at that business account. Subtract your expenses from your revenue and just pay yourself the difference, which is your profit. Now you can write yourself an actual check if you want to, or you can just do an electronic transfer, which is how I prefer to do it. But essentially, you're just going to pay yourself right out of your profits. I pay myself the entirety of my profits. And there is a school of thought that goes along the lines of pay yourself first. And I'm not saying that what I'm telling you is gospel truth. I'm just telling you how I handle it for my businesses that I've been running for over five years consistently. And if you're just running a single member LLC, as I talked about in my LLC video, you're just subject to pass through taxation on these profits anyway. So there's really no reason not to do this unless you need to keep cash in the business account to pay for upcoming expenses that you know you're gonna be incurring. If that is the case, by the way, don't pay yourself your entire profits, leave some cash in there to cover the expenses that you know are gonna be coming down the pike. Maybe you know you're gonna be making a large purchase soon of either materials, training, equipment. In that case, just leave enough cash in there to cover that. The nice thing though about having a single member LLC though is that you can deposit money back into the business account at any time if you know you have to pay for a large expense. Now as far as the frequency with which you pay yourself, it's really up to you. I like to pay myself monthly, but you might find that you want or need to pay yourself weekly, bi-weekly, or quarterly. Some of your paychecks might be for small amounts, while others might be for much more. And this is all part of the entrepreneurial journey. If you want to get the same amount of a guaranteed paycheck every couple of weeks, there are plenty of places that you could go work. But you and I have chosen a different path. And eventually, hopefully, that pays off. Eventually, when your business becomes much more profitable, there will be an income tax benefit to you to setting up an S-Corp. Now, I talked about this again, either in my LLC video or my tax video. Can't remember which one right now, check them both. But at this point, when you're really pulling in those large profits, you will be able to pay yourself a consistent salary each week and then pay yourself an annual disbursement bonus, which is not subject to certain taxes. Again, 
check both those videos I talked about for more information on that. As a quick recap though, for most people who are watching this video who are seeking basic information on this topic, just remember this. Keep two separate bank accounts, your business and your personal. Handle all of your business finances from that business account and then pay yourself out of the profits as frequently as you deem necessary. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you back here each week with new videos that hopefully are going to help you make more money. See you then.